Today we went to Ikea to try everything off the menu from desserts to meatballs. We also got trapped inside of the store, so stick around to the end of this video to see what happens. So we're at Ikea guys, and we're so excited because it's been forever since we've been here. Um, and we decided we're just gonna like eat. Cause you can't come to Ikea and not eat, so. Yeah, we're just gonna kinda walk around. It's not like we really need anything, so we're just gonna walk and get a lot of food. We're gonna probably order everything on the menu. We'll see yeah. how it goes. <laughs> when we lived in Minnesota, we lived at Ikea. Like, our entire house was decked out in Ikea. Every piece of furniture in every single room. Kitchen, living room, bedrooms, me and Jesse's bedrooms, the girls' bedrooms. Everything was from Ikea because it was so cheap. Now, we spent most of our life building things. Yes, we did, I'm not gonna lie. Most of the weekends, we're spent building. But you know, we were young, we had energy. We don't anymore, we don't do that anymore. We just come here to eat now. You're an OG if you remember this in red. And we had it for the sleepover video. Well, you just told them. Everybody, Rory has started the timer. We have one minute to shop, one minute. What would you get in Ikea if you only had one minute? Ready, go. I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, let me see, where am I? Where am I? If I had one minute to shop and I just needed to grab something and I'm in this section already, I know what I want. Found it. I have my item, it is a French press coffee maker. Cause you can never have too many. I already have one, but you know. A plant. Very good option. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is, okay guys, this is what I want my apartment to look like when I move out. This? You like, this is super cute. cute. And like the little bedroom through here. Yeah, like the bathroom right here. With the brick cute. wall. I even like the brick wall. Yeah, this is so cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we all know Ada's aesthetic. What, it, what, <laughs> what is that? that? It's a tray for food and bed. <laughs> oh, you can make oh. me breakfast in bed with that. Thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> So it looks, yes, so it looks like we have a lot of options. There's ribs, chicken tenders, the famous meatballs, of course. Should we try some of their veggie options, like veggie balls? Yeah, we should try their... I feel like if we're getting everything on the menu, we have to try it. Yeah. Okay, so I say back with Rainy. Hi, Rainy. Someday you'll get to have a meatball. Yeah, but not today. <laughs> but you got banana. Look at you, got a banana. And look at she has her first owie, guys. Her first one. So the way it works, if you've never been to an IKEA, which I'm sure you either have or you've seen videos, but it's like cafeteria style, you walk through, the food's ready to go, you pick what you want, and you pay, and you eat. So let's eat, because we're hungry, you're hungry, we're all hungry, let's eat together. We ordered literally everything off of the IKEA menu. Here's what we got first, we got some chicken with, right, with chipotle sauce, mac and cheese, and french fries. Ada's already digging into the mashed potatoes, but we got their chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, veggies. Over here we got the Swedish meatballs, mac and cheese and more mashed potatoes, ribs and rice. Rory says the salmon is fishy. And Rory does love fish. She loves salmon. I'm gonna try it with the sauce and see if that helps. Try it. Well, it's supposed to be with the sauce. It's not that fishy to me. Really? I, if I had some lemon, I'm good to go, baby. Okay, Rory's going in for. I say give it a try. What was it? Three bucks for this salmon, probably. So we also got a bunch of desserts to try, and they're candy bars. I guess the chicken is pretty new, like this chicken right here, because they didn't have it on the uh, cash register yet. So we're gonna try the chicken out too. Oh, and we got a wrap. I forgot to tell you guys about that. How's the chicken? Let me try this. Let me try this. I gotta go in for a bite. All right. <laughs> wow. Chicken's pretty good. Double thumbs up. Okay. I am having the lingon barre sauce with the meatballs. I'm pretty sure that everybody has had the meatballs at IKEA. You can't get any better. So Jesse is the mac and cheese connoisseur of the family. So I really want to get his take on the IKEA mac and cheese. I think it's good, but we'll see what he thinks. All right, what was your rating on the mashed potatoes and gravy? Six. That's all they get is a six? Bro, look at Bruh. I ate all my mashed potatoes. Bro, ate ate them all. They're so good. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm giving it a nine. It just needs a little bit more salt. And like Almost as good as KFC's mashed potatoes. KFC. I don't know why Ada's scared. She's scared to try this. I'm not. I mean, yeah. Your typical no salt food. Great. Veggies, no yeah. salted veggies. Unsalted veggies, love them. What's next? What's next is Chicken, this. bacon, it's like a BLT wrap. Yeah. So we go. figured it would go good in ranch? Oh yeah, anything goes good in ranch. Okay. Cheers. I think it's all right. I don't think it's great. I'm just getting your reactions. I think it's all right. Rating? 
I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay, that's pretty good. That's I mean that's good. Above average. Above average a little bit. <laughs> Well, I think Rory found something that she likes. <laughs> Rory's definitely into the desserts here. So, what do you think, a 10 on the desserts? A 10. Yeah? All right, this is for all the Swedish people out there. Do you know uh, the Sweden anthem? What is it? I do. I, you do? You know this? Uh, really, what is it? Oh, Sweden, oh, Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Oh, Sweet you are. I can do better. But I'll still come and eat them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the cake that Rory apparently really likes. Don't look like guava, huh? It looks like guava. What is it, Ada? Oh, her eyes are lighting up. <laughs> I knew Sweden had to be good with sweets. It just makes sense. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's really good? Yes. It's that good? Mm. For real, it's that good. <laughs> Back to one the ribs. Thing, yes, one thing I will say, they did not, they're meaty. These are meaty ribs, not just a plate of bones. Okay, but the question is, would you rather have a McRib from McDonald's, or would oh. you rather have these ribs? These ribs. I love the McRib. I cannot believe we're still eating. Okay, what's next on the, the next meal? delectable meal? Just ignore the half-eaten mac and cheese and the fries. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. We've been we bunching. We kind of went all in. <laughs> um, we got the chipotle chicken. Oh, it's chipotle chicken. Yeah, so like the, the sauce, sauce is chipotle. optional. Looks like a good piece of meat. So it looks like you get thigh. Yep. Which I like thigh. I'm gonna go in for some skin. How's the sauce? Let me taste that. I wouldn't say it's quite chipotle. It's very marinara y. Kind of like a cacciatore. If you like cacciatore, you'll like that. It's pretty good. Rating. Chicken, I'm gonna give for like just the chicken alone. I'm gonna give it a 10 because it's cooked. No, I'm gonna give it an 8. It's cooked good. Okay. But the flavors. You don't like it? I like it. I don't like the flavors, but the meatballs, ribs, and uh, the chicken tenders. Definitely my favorites. One thing about me, if there's food, I'm gonna eat it good, bad, everything in between. I am a sucker for like cafeteria, bad cafeteria food. I don't know what it is, like the hospitals, Ikea, they have it, I'm eating it. I love it, just can't help myself. All right, all right. What, what is going on over here? You're just going it's all in with this brownie. I'm trying the brownie, it's look like at this. It's, it's, it's really like. Batter? It's all, all batter. It's brownie batter on a plate shaped like a brownie. Too much? I mean, that's what it is, it's brownie batter. Too rich? Look at it. Look at it, it can smush. Yeah. Wait. It can smush. This part's cooked. <gasps> yeah, on the outside. They gave us an undercooked brownie. Maybe they're called ooey gooey brownie bars or something, I don't know, who knows. They're good though. Try Thanks this. for saving me some. You're welcome, Guys, now I'm gonna try it. <laughs> This is the star of the show yes. today, right here. All right, what is this, like a strawberry but, jelly jam? I think it's guava or linion berry. Linion, not I'm, strawberry. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. I think it's linion berry, linion berry? Lignin? Lignin, it's linion berry. But that's probably what it is, because that's their famous berry. All right, rating on the cake. The cake is good, it's like a eight. Seriously? Let me I see. Could, I could find better desserts than that. Jesse won't give it a 10, but I will. Jesse is also the French fry connoisseur in the family. Basically, the junk, anything junk food, he's your guy. If you need to know about it, he's your guy. So, how are the fries? I'm the junk food guy. <laughs> Thanks. So, the fries, I feel like I, I'm not going to be able to review them accurately because they were sitting. And yeah. They were cold. But you can imagine what they were like when they were fresh. You're good enough. At, like, you've eaten enough fries in your life, but you know that. So what do you think? I'd give the fry... A nine? Um, a, a six. All right, all I, right. I mean, basically what you want to do with these fries is throw them in the trash. <laughs> but you still gave it a six. <laughs> okay, so I already tried the regular Coca-Cola. It was very good. I actually think if it's not Coca-Cola, which I don't think it is, I like it a little better. And then I noticed they had sparkling raspberry and lemon, so I thought I'd mix the two. I'm not a fan of raspberry, but I'll, it's okay. That's a good combo. Let me try. <laughs> Pretty good. No? It's sparkling. <laughs> 
It's good. The last thing that I'm gonna try is going to be this Marab Marabu Marabo. All right, let's give it a try. It's apparently chocolate and almonds. It's candy. Yeah. Pretty good chocolate. That's pretty good. Woo. Well. We had ourselves a I great am, meal. I'm running. It's I'm hot over there because like there's like a lot of like windows. Windows. And in Florida, you bake. Literally, yeah. like a little baked potato in there. Um, also, I'm stuffed. I mean, I could eat more, but I'm stuffed. But I can always eat more. It was really yeah. Good. And I don't like doing these eating challenges because I'm supposed to be on a diet. You're not on a I diet. I mean, on a on a life change. <laughs> change life path. Well, you didn't eat that much path. though. It really wasn't that much food. No, no. I, but I did eat a lot of ribs. Over that way, guys. We're playing follow the Ada Bear. We should not be playing this game. I'm just gonna warn you now. Why? Why this wouldn't you want to play this game? Why do you think? Look at her. It's so cute. You like this room, Ada? She likes yes, this room apartment. It's so cute. You like to be able to look at your ramen noodles boiling while you're laying in bed? Yes. <laughs> Mom and I always wanted an IKEA kitchen. We always Someday. did. Someday. Someday I'll have one. I feel like our kitchen is nicer than an IKEA kitchen now. Yes. All right, These are the new uh, fashion kitchen handles. What the heck? Look at that handle. Look at that. Of course, Rory found the stuffed animal section here. Do you really need another stuffed animal in your yeah, life? I wanted a cute little Literally, we don't even have space for it. I can decorate my whole hammock thing. It's already decorated, girl. No, I don't have any stuffed animals in it. Okay, all right, fine, you can get it, go. <gasps> crisis, crisis. We can't find our way out of Ikea. Where do we go, honestly? Which way do we go? I can't show you where the soft blankets are, though, this way. Wait, isn't there like an exit out of the cafeteria? Yes, that's where we're going. Wait, can I show you these blankets first? No. Wait, we're done looking at no. blankets. We want to find an exit. I'm ready to go home. See, this is what they do here. They trap you in the store, so you can't leave. Wait! <gasps> you guys, it's Ren's first laugh. And she sees are you going to laugh? No, she's distracted. Oh, we can't, we can't get it again. See, you think you'd be able to leave, but no, it's an emergency exit. Challenge of the day, get Ren to laugh. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, woo! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, woo! <laughs> Every exit sign we see ends up being an emergency exit. Get us out of here, please, somebody help us. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but Rory didn't bring shoes today. <laughs> she just thought, you know, we're out running errands. I don't, who needs those? Bottom of the foot check. Rory. Ooh, I was expecting it yeah, to be worse. It's, actually not that it's bad. not that bad. Which one do we take? That one or that one? <laughs> we finally found our way out of Ikea. Oh. It took a while. Anyways, we're going home, so. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Remember to do one thing. Eat, Eat your, your pickles, pickles kids. kids. Bye. Stuck in the middle.